In 2016, Dell, the world's largest privately held company, acquired data storage provider EMC Corp for a record $67 billion. Two years later, Dell is looking at EMC's subsidiary VMware, in which it has an 80% stake to salvage its business by possibly letting itself be merged with VMware. In market terminology, this is called a reverse merger. But what exactly is the logic behind this? Dell's purchase of EMC pushed it into a debt of more than $50 billion, and since then, it has not exactly turned a profit or met financial targets. The reverse merger would provide Dell access to VMware's $11.6 billion in cash and trim its debt pile by a good amount. But why can't Dell buy out VMware instead of the other way around? There is a lockup provision that prevents Dell from buying 100% stake in VMware until September 2018. In the reverse merger strategy, a private company like Dell merges with its subsidiary VMware, which is already publicly listed and in effect becomes a public company. It also gains instant access to capital through the subsidiary's public investors. There are checks and balances to cut out any possible fraud, of course. A reverse merger is not as high profile as an initial public offering, but it remains a viable option for both large and small companies that want to go public as quickly as possible. Few people are aware that many famous companies went public via a reverse merger. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway was originally the name of a textile manufacturer. He bought it out and then merged his insurance empire into it without even changing the name. CNN founder Ted Turner merged his Turner Outdoor Advertising to create the Turner Broadcasting System. Even the original US stock market itself is the result of a reverse merger. The New York Stock Exchange acquired Archipelago Holdings and was reverse merged to achieve its goal of going public to raise capital. Dell was also a public company until 2013, until its founder CEO realized he would much rather do business privately. But the company's PCs and servers are being increasingly squeezed out by the growing smartphone and cloud enterprise markets, leading to huge operating losses. For now, it seems that a reverse merger may save the day for Dell.